From a rampaging murderer to the most notorious wanted female in United States history, here's the full list of the 10 most wanted females by the FBI. Number 10. Shanika S. Minor. Shanika S. Minor is the newest woman to be added to the FBI's 10 Most Wanted list. She's also the 10th woman to ever be placed on the FBI's 10 Most Wanted since its inception in the 1950s. She made the list after allegedly murdering a pregnant woman in the state of Milwaukee for the crime of disrespecting her family. The woman had apparently been playing loud music at night, and Shanika's mother complained about it. So Shanika went over and threatened the woman in the street with a semi-automatic weapon. Nothing happened in the street. But about a week later at 3 o'clock in the morning, Shanika encountered the woman again and shot her in the chest. This resulted in the death of the woman and her unborn baby, and Shanika went on the run. She was added to the most wanted list, but she only stayed on the list for three days before being apprehended inside of a motel in North Carolina. According to Fox News, she's since pled guilty for the murder. Number 9. Brenda Delgado Brenda Delgado was added to the FBI's most wanted list in 2015 for facilitating the murder of a doctor. Delgado apparently found out that her ex-boyfriend was dating a pediatric dentist. The couple were getting very serious, and Delgado got irrationally upset about it. She then bribed two people with drugs and cash, according to the FBI, to murder her boyfriend's new lover. After the murder, Brenda Delgado fled, was added to the FBI's most wanted list, and was then apprehended in April of 2016. She's since been charged with murder and avoiding prosecution. This is pretty unfortunate for Delgado, who's been a dental hygienist and in possession of a pretty good life. She was also only 33 years old when she decided to have her ex-boyfriend's lover murdered. For the rest of her life, Delgado will be relaxing in prison, rather than fixing people's teeth. Number 8. Donna Jean Wilmot Donna Wilmot was a member of the Weather Underground, which in the 1980s was a radical activist movement notorious for using violence as a way to protest racism, sexism, classism, and of course, the Vietnam War. In 1985, Donna Wilmot was charged with purchasing explosives in order to blow up a maximum security prison in the state of Kansas as part of a plot to free Oscar Lopez, the leader of a Puerto Rican separatist organization also notorious for using violence. Donna, along with Claude Daniel Marks, were the first man and woman team to land a spot on the most wanted list. Before Donna Wilmont could face justice, she went underground. The FBI placed her on the most wanted list in 1987. She didn't come out of hiding until 1994, when she finally turned herself into the federal authorities after nearly a year of tense negotiations. Donna Wilmont spent three years in prison and is now living among us. She's no longer considered a terrorist and is working for local AIDS charities. Number 7. Marie Dean Arrington Marie Dean Arrington earned her place on the FBI's most wanted list after escaping from prison in Marion County, Florida. She'd been in jail since 1968, placed there for the violent murder of a public defender's secretary. It's a totally bizarre story. Bob Pierce had defended Marie's children in court after her son was charged with armed robbery and her daughter was charged with fraud. Marie was angry that her children were found guilty, so she went to Bob Pierce's law office to seek revenge. He wasn't there, so instead she took her anger out on his secretary. She shot the woman several times and even ran her over with her own car. And this wasn't even Marie's first murder. She apparently killed her husband and was on bail awaiting sentencing when she killed the secretary. She then miraculously escaped from prison in 1969 and was discovered just two years later in 1971, waitressing in New Orleans. She was captured and given the death penalty. But then the death penalty was ruled unconstitutional in 1972 and she was stuck serving life in prison. Throughout her years behind bars, Marie tallied up 61 violations for a number of things, such as weapons, inciting a riot, and drugs. Marie then died in 2014 at the ripe old age of 80. Number 6. Ruth Eisman Shear Ruth Eisman Shear was the first woman ever to be placed on the FBI's most wanted list. In all the years since the list has been around, there have only been a total of 10 women put on it. Ruth was the first. She was put on the list after aiding in the kidnapping of a young woman. She had helped to kidnap a woman whose father had a personal relationship with the president-elect of the time, Richard Nixon. Ruth and her partner, a man named Gary Christ, had hoped to score a huge ransom for the woman's return. The two of them kidnapped the 20-year-old from an Atlanta motel room and then buried her in a box underground. The kidnappers kept her alive using an air pump, a battery-powered lamp, and a small supply of food and water. They successfully earned $500,000 for the girl's release. She was rescued by authorities just 83 hours after being buried. Gary Christ was apprehended soon after, but Ruth managed to flee. She was placed on the FBI's most wanted list on December 28th, but managed to evade capture until March 5th. It turned out that Ruth wasn't quite as smart as she seemed. She was captured when applying for a nursing position in Oklahoma. She had to provide a fingerprint check, and that resulted in her being identified and arrested. Number 5. 
Shantae L. Henderson Shantae L. Henderson ended up on the list of the 10 most wanted people in the United States back in March of 2007. She was also apprehended in March of 2007. But wait for it, she was apprehended on the exact same day that she was added to the most wanted list. Talk about a short-lived time on the run. Shantae was arrested in connection to the murder of DeAndre Parker, who had been shot to death while sitting in his pickup truck outside of a convenience store in Kansas City. This went down in September of 2006, and after the murder, Shantae went on the run. She was only 24 years old at the time, and allegedly a member of the notorious 12th Street Gang. Police at the time believed that she was involved in at least five other murders and up to 50 shootings related to the gang. After the murder of DeAndre Parker, Shantae kept an extremely low profile. She only re-emerged to participate in gang warfare. Luckily, she was eventually captured in Kansas City and convicted of voluntary manslaughter along with armed criminal action. She only ended up serving three years in jail and was released in 2010. That's a pretty quick sentence for someone who may have killed five people. But don't worry, she was arrested again five months later for possession of a firearm. She got seven and a half years in jail for possession of a weapon and 10 years for violating her probation. It seems completely insane that she got more time in jail for possessing a weapon than she got for killing a person with a weapon. But that's just the way the legal system works, apparently. Number four, Catherine Ann Power. Catherine Ann Power was a senior at Brandeis University in 1970. She was added to the most wanted list in October of that same year for robbing a National Guard armory in Massachusetts with her school roommate and three ex-convicts. One of the ex-convicts, Stanley Bond, was romantically involved with Catherine. Their intention at the time was to steal enough money to provide weapons to the Black Panthers. They managed to get $26,000, but one of the men killed a police officer that arrived at the scene, and this landed the gang in hot water. Catherine Power ended up living underground for the next 23 years. She changed her name, became a mother, and ended up getting a job as a cooking and nutrition teacher at a community college in Oregon. By 1984, the FBI dropped her from the most wanted list. By then in 1993, Catherine Power revealed her true identity and pled guilty to manslaughter and armed robbery. She was then imprisoned from between 1993 and 1999. Number 3. Susan Edith Sachs Susan Edith Sachs was involved in activist movements during the 1970s, just like Catherine Power. The two were actually roommates during their senior year of college. And interestingly enough, Susan also had a romantic relationship with the ex-convict Stanley Bond. It was something of a criminal love triangle. Susan was also involved in the robbery back in 1970. But unlike Catherine Power, Susan was arrested in Philadelphia just five years after the robbery. A policeman recognized her from an FBI image and immediately took her into custody. She then served eight years out of a 14-year sentence for manslaughter and armed robbery. She even ran a successful computer company from jail before being paroled in 1982. Number 2. Bernardine Ray Dorn Bernardine Ray Dorn was added to the most wanted list on October 14, 1970. She was removed just three years later. And yes, she too was involved in the Weather Underground. She was the leader of the group, and she went into hiding in March of 1970 after three members of her organization were killed while trying to manufacture bombs. The incident involved the townhouse in Greenwich Village being blown to smithereens. But unlike Catherine Powers and Susan Sachs, Bernadine had nothing to do with the 1970 robbery. According to an in-depth exclusive from PBS, Bernadine was removed from the most wanted list in 1973 after a district court judge dismissed the case because the government had obtained information against Bernadine and other members of her group illegally. But that wasn't the end of Bernadine's crime spree. In 1980, she pled guilty to aggravated battery and was placed on three years of probation. Then, in 1982, she spent seven months in jail for not cooperating with authorities during the investigation of an armed robbery of a Brinks armored car. The robbery had been perpetrated by members of the Black Liberation Army and former members of her own group. During the robbery, two police were killed and one Brinks guard. But luckily, Bernadine managed to get over her criminal past. Ever since 1998, she's been teaching at the Northwestern University School of Law. Number 1. Angela Yvonne Davis Angela Davis was placed on the FBI's most wanted list back in 1970. She'd been a philosophy professor before being charged with murder and kidnapping. But the whole ordeal was extremely controversial. Angela Davis was not at the scene of the kidnapping or the murders, but she was charged under a strange California law that made her equally as guilty because she had allegedly purchased the guns used in the crime. The guns that Angela Davis had allegedly purchased were used for a kidnapping at a courthouse during the trial of the infamous Soledad brothers who were accused of murdering a guard at the Soledad prison. According to a biographical report from History.com, Angela Davis was acquitted in 1972 and cleared of every last charge. She went on to become a famous political activist, an advocate for prisoners' rights, and an extremely influential scholar at the University of California, Santa Cruz. She's still an important figurehead to this day and was even interviewed about the most recent presidential election and the politics surrounding several different movements currently unfolding in the country. 
Have you heard of any of these wanted women? Let me know your thoughts, and thanks for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel for all the best and most exciting videos right here on American Eye.